Meantime, we are bringing back a special series we call Billion Dollar Brands. What exactly does it take to make it into that ultimate club of business insiders? Well, Jenna Bush Hager decided to find out. Jenna, good morning. Morning, guys. We all, of course, remember Kathy Ireland as an icon from the 80s, the breathtaking beauty on the cover of magazines. But you may not realize this supermodel has turned mogul and is now one of the biggest names in business. I'm Kathy Ireland, CEO, Kathy Ireland Worldwide. Nothing is impossible. If you can dream it, you can do it. Her big dreams helped launch a global empire worth over $2 billion. Kathy Ireland for Window World. Kathy Ireland Weddings. Kathy Ireland Home Collection. She skyrocketed to fame, modeling at 16. Her magazine covers making her an iconic supermodel of the 80s. Her Sports Illustrated cover in 1989 is still the best-selling issue of all time. But she was a businesswoman long before she was CEO of her own company. At eight, she became the first paper girl in Santa Barbara, California. My first day on the job, I had a gentleman who just was standing out on the end of his driveway. When I handed him his paper, he just began yelling at me, you know, what are you doing here? This is a boy's job. What did that teach you about life and business? It was my first taste of discrimination, and it really instilled that fighting spirit in me because there was no logical reason why I couldn't have the job based on my gender. It taught me to persevere. This is Lamps Plus. A lesson she would hold on to in the years that followed when she was building Kathy Ireland worldwide. We have diamonds, pet care, sleepwear, educational games, ceiling fans, windows, flooring, furniture, bras, rugs, <laughs> suits, music, destination weddings, and that's just the beginning. How did you get into so many different products? I love what I do. When you work with people you love and you love the people you serve, it's exciting. Her company began with a pair of socks in 1993. I've read that somebody actually said, well, that's a dumb idea. Why did you decide to take that advice and throw it out the window? I knew it was a good idea. Socks really felt like a, a foundation. And so if women would embrace something as basic as a sock, that would tell us if we were on to a real brand. More than 20 years later, she designs and markets some 17,000 products. A key to her success? not just endorsing products, but licensing them. And she's got razor sharp focus on her target audience, Middle America's moms, something she says she can relate to as a mom of three. Though her modeling days opened doors, she says it didn't always work in her favor. I mean, early on, there was someone who wrote something. It was rather unkind, um, called me a bimbo from modeling. I found out who he was and called him. And I just said, I, I need to get to know you. I don't think you understand what our company is all about. Ireland proved them wrong, known now by many in business as having the Midas touch. Her top rules in business? I would say, consider others as more important than yourself. It works. I believe that all that you give is all that you get. So give it all you've got. And don't do anything half measure. Really put your heart into what you do. Ireland is quick to pay tribute to those who have guided her. Elizabeth Taylor was a dear friend and mentor. Today, as part of her Kathy Ireland destination, she rents out Taylor's Palm Springs home. This is deer in snow. And Elizabeth painted this when she was a child. She was 14. Incredibly talented. Another mentor, Warren Buffett, gave Ireland advice that proved invaluable. He was the one that said, you have a gift for home. Maybe keep, you know, working in this field. Talk to me about how he's inspired you. He did share that um, fashion and apparel, it, it's very cyclical, but in the home, it's much more steady. And so I, I, I listen. He believed in the Kathy Ireland brand perhaps recognizing the steely determination of Santa Barbara's paper girl. Warren Buffett delivered newspapers too. I can't help but think about your eight-year-old self, you know, wanting to be the first paper girl in your area. What would you tell that little girl after everything you've learned about gender roles? I would tell that little girl, you know, you continue to work hard and work well, work fairly, you don't win when you cheat, and nothing is, is too big. There might be something to delivering newspapers as a kid. Kathy Ireland couldn't be more humble. 
I can't tell you how many times she said she was so grateful to her business partners and her team. Most of them have been with her for over 20 years. Hello today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.